What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting our hands on a business focused mobile workstation alternative, the HP ZBook 8 G1 AS. The entry level ZBook excels at business intelligence, financial modeling, technical documentation, light CAD work, and AI enhanced productivity. In this full review, we'll dive deep into its design, performance, display, keyboard, connectivity, and of course, the all important question, is this the right mobile workstation for you? Let's get into it. First impressions matter, and the ZBook 8 makes a good one. It's got a sleek, professional, and understated meter of silver color design. The chassis is primarily made from aluminium, giving it a premium feel and excellent durability. You can tell this laptop is built to withstand the rigors of daily professional use. It's a fairly light workstation weighing in at around 1.44 kilograms or 3.17 pounds. The hinges feel solid and there's minimal flex in the lid or keyboard deck, which is always a good sign. HP have opted for minimalistic aesthetics, with a clean HP logo on the lid and a focus on functionality. Overall, it's a no-nonsense design that prioritizes utility and durability, exactly what you want from a workstation. There's rubber feet underneath to aid in sucking in cold air into the large vent for better thermals. Quick word on the green credentials of the G1 AS. The external power adapter is 90% efficient. The molded paper pulp cushion inside the box is 100% sustainably sourced and recyclable. The outside box and corrugated cushions are 100% sustainably sourced and recyclable. And 60% post-consumer recycled plastic is used. Loosen the four captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Using a flat bladed pry tool, carefully separate the edges to open the bottom cover. Inside are two sodium slots for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5-5600 memory. There is one M.2 PCIe NVMe slot for internal storage. The 62 watt hour battery is removable. Both types of wireless cards are serviceable. The WLAN and the optional WWAN cards are removable. Now let's talk about the display. A crucial component for any creative professional. Our review unit comes with a 14 inch WQXGA 2560 by 1600, 120 hertz, anti-glare, 500 nits, 100% DCI-P3 HP Dream Color display panel. That was a mouthful. The colors are accurate, vivid, sharp, and the viewing angles are excellent, which is vital if you're collaborating with colleagues or presenting your work. While it's not a 4K panel, for many professionals, WQXGA offers a good balance between resolution, battery life, and a compact 14-inch panel. The anti-glare coating is also a welcome addition. It's not perfect, but makes it comfortable to work in various lighting conditions. HDR is not supported on this panel. The maximum opening angle is around 170 degrees, not quite flat. You do need two hands to open the lid as the single hinge is quite sturdy. The ZBook 8 range has plenty of display options. Here's a list available depending on your region. On the left we have a HDMI 2.1, two Thunderbolt 4 with USB Type-C 40 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery display port 2.1, one headphone microphone combo jack and an optional smart card reader. On the right there's one nano security lock slot, one RJ45 Ethernet port, one USB Type-A 5 gigabits per second signaling rate powered, one USB Type-C 10 gigabits per second powered, and an optional nano SIM slot for WAN connectivity. Inside is a Qualcomm Fast Connect 7800 Wi-Fi 7 dual band simultaneous DPS network adapter 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.4 wireless combo card. Wireless connectivity was strong and reliable throughout testing with a Wi-Fi 7 access point. Bluetooth connected successfully to an external mouse or a speaker. Some 8 G1 AS models have an optional HP 4G LTE A Pro Cat 16 WAN eSIM or HP 5G Sub 6 Cat 19 WAN eSIM module for mobile connectivity. Great for travelers. A comfortable and efficient input experience is paramount for long working hours. The Zebel 8 features HP's renowned premium quiet spill resistant keyboard. It has HP Dura keys with a clear protective coating applied over the keyboard surface to make the keys more durable and resistant to wear and tear. This translates into a great touch typing keyboard with tactile feedback, spaced out keys, and clear white key fonts. Typing accuracy was
was 99% with 65 words per minute. Unfortunately, with this 14-inch chassis, there's no room for a numeric keypad, which can be a deal breaker for some. The backlighting is adjustable, so you can work effectively in dimly lit environments. The large Microsoft Precision ClickPad with multi-touch gesture support is precise and responsive, giving a comfortable finger gliding action for long periods. The integrated mouse buttons are tactile, accurate, and quiet when depressed. Audio is tuned by Poly Studio dual stereo speakers with HP world-facing dual-ray digital microphones. The downward-firing dual speakers are located below the keyboard wrist press. The audio speakers are not half bad, plenty of mids and vocal clarity. It lacks bass, but it still has some for pumping out your Spotify playlist. At 100% volume, it remains undistorted and clear. Great for video conferencing or playing some Spotify background music while catching up with your emails. Here are some audio samples. The 5 megapixel webcam and IR sensors housed in this thin bezel at the top of the display. Video quality is excellent from the webcam. Good color accuracy, crisp and sharp images in decent lighting conditions, helped by the AI Fairy using Windows Studio FX. A great webcam for daily video conferencing with your colleagues. This review model is powered by AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX Pro 375, 2GHz base clock up to 5.1GHz max boost clock, 12 cores and 24 threads. This is married to an AMD Radeon 890M integrated graphics and has an AMD Ryzen AI chip with 55 MPU tops. The 375 has a base TDP of 28 watts up to 54 watts, along with a stick of 32 gigabytes DDR5 5600 MHz RAM in single channel mode and one terabyte PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD. The 8G1AS flies through apps that professional creators and entry-level workstation users would work on. Overall performance has been excellent with office productivity tools, viewing 2D or basic 3D drawings, or using LM Studio for AI workflows. For a performance test, we set the best performance mode in Windows and plug the laptop into the mains during testing. The CPU test results in Cinebench 2024 show that the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX Pro 375 single core and multi core performance is excellent. This was similar to the Geekbench single core benchmark scores, coming near the top in the CPU rankings. With the Geekbench multi core results, the 375 came in in the middle of the pack. This was the same in the PC Mark 10 results, coming in in the lower middle tier of processors. More on the questionable graphical benchmark results later. Here are the benchmarking results for the ZBook 8 G1 AS14 for reference. The AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX Pro 375 sits on par with the Intel Core Ultra 7 255H and i7 14650HX in general benchmarking scores, and just below the AMD Ryzen 9 7845HX and Intel Intel Core i7 14700HX. Using the quick CPU tool plugged in balance mode idle, CPU temperature is around 63 Celsius. CPU clock speed is around 1.6 GHz to 4.5 GHz on the P cores and 2 to 2.5 GHz on the E cores and around 11 to 18 watts CPU power. The fans have a low humming noise at 33.2 decibels. The center of the keyboard hits 38.2 Celsius and 40.8 Celsius by the top vents. The chassis is barely warm to the touch. With video playback balance mode, the AI7 Pro 375 CPU temperature is on average 53 Celsius, 2 to 4 GHz on the P cores and 1.9 to 2.5 GHz on the E cores. CPU power is on average 9 watts. The dual fans spin up but are virtually quiet at less than 30 decibels. The temperature at the top vents is 40.2 Celsius and 38.2 Celsius at the center left of the keyboard. Set to high performance plugged in running Blender benchmarking, the CPU fluctuates between 3 to 4 GHz P cores, 1.8 to 2 5 gigahertz on the E cores. CPU temperature is around 84 Celsius on average, and CPU power is constant at 45 watts. The fans do kick faster and louder up to 53 decibels. Temperatures around the top vents are 41.4 Celsius and 38.6 Celsius at the center left of the keyboard. In battery mode best performance video playback, CPU temperature fluctuates between 49 Celsius, 5 watts CPU power, 1.4 gigahertz on average E cores, 2 gigahertz on average P cores. The fans stay silent at less than 30 decibels, 38.6 Celsius at most chassis temperature and 39.6 Celsius at the top vents. Same can be said with running the Blender benchmark tour under battery mode. Best 
performance, 2.3 to 3.5 GHz on the P calls, 2.73 GHz on average E calls, 69 to 76 Celsius CPU temperature, 37 watts CPU power. The dual fans are loud at 53 decibels, 38.6 Celsius on chassis temperature and 41.1 Celsius by the top vents. Running an Unreal Engine 5.6 project, the dual fans were loud at 53 decibels. The center of the keyboard was 44.5 Celsius and the top vents 46.1 Celsius, warm to the touch. Here's a list of the target audience for the HP ZBook 8 G1AS. Project managers and executives who need a lightweight yet powerful machine for reviewing projects, managing teams and staying productive on the move. 2D designers and power business users whose work involves demanding office applications, large data sets and some creative work that doesn't require the horsepower of the high-end models. Field engineers and sales professionals who require durable and reliable workstation for presentations and on-site work. The AMD Radeon 890M integrated graphics features 16 RDNA 3.5 architecture CUs running at up to 2900 MHz. Another unique feature is unified memory which can be manually divided between the CPU and GPU in the BIOS with up to 32 GB being reserved for graphics. To change the VRAM, press escape on startup, select the BIOS setup F10, go into advanced built-in device options. Under video memory size, it is set to default auto. You can change this depending on memory you have to allocate. In our review model, we have 32 gigabytes RAM to play with. Select from 512 megabytes, 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 16 or 32. Performance wise, we had difficulty getting decent graphics benchmark results from the 890M during our testing, even to a point where we asked HP to send out a second loan device to us. Hopefully with better BIOS firmware or graphics drivers in the future, this might change. 3D Mark Time Spy results show the 890M in the middle of the pack near the 880M and Arc 8 core from Intel. Still Nomad and the older Night Raid benchmark show the 890M near the bottom of the pack. Disappointing since on paper it was one of the higher iGPUs in 2024. The AMD 890M will play most AAA titles in low settings and 1600p resolution. The ZBook isn't designed for gaming but it will allow you to catch up with the occasional spot of after hours gaming. Here are some gaming samples. HP have added an extensive list of security features to the 8G1AS. A fingerprint sensor for authentication, IR sensor for Windows Hello facial recognition, a webcam privacy shutter slider to shut out prying eyes, a TPM 2.0 embedded security chip and a nano security slot. On the software front, HP have pre-installed HP Wolf Pro Security Edition for malware and threat containment. What's the battery life like? Inside is a HP Long Life Free Cell 62 Watt Hour Lithium Polymer Battery with video playback full screen balance mode 40% brightness, battery life was 9 hours, running PC Mark 10 office productivity testing like a power user, balance mode 40% brightness, battery life was nearly 7 hours, expect around 2 to 3 hours if you run heavy taxing apps. The G1AS comes with a HP Smart 140 watt external AC USB Type-C power adapter, it supports battery fast charging approximately 50% in 30 minutes, the good, the bad and the really bad. Gorgeous dream colour. 
The color accurate display panel is great for professional photo or video editing work. A bright screen with a useful 120Hz refresh rate. Small bugbear, it's not HDR or low blue light certified. Plus, there's no OLED option available. Built quality. Zbooks are built like tanks to withstand a few knocks or two. The G1AS is solid and built for heavy work. It's not the lightest 14 inch workstation, but feels incredibly well put together. Upgradable memory. Really nice to see the G1AS sticking with upgradable memory slots. Handy for local AI processing. Up to 64GB DDR5-5600 memory in total. Impressive IOs. Plenty of ports in the G1AS to save carrying adapters. Two fast Thunderbolt 4s, one USB Type-A and USB Type-C ports and a HDMI port. There's even a rare gigabit Ethernet port. Only bugbear, no SD card reader. Good inputs. The keyboard on the G1AS is great for touch typists like myself. Plenty of key travel and well spaced out. The click pad is smooth and allows you to use multi-touch gestures with ease. Poor 890M. The AMD Radeon 890M, despite being a powerful integrated GPU on paper, sometimes receives criticism for benchmark figures that are perceived as lower than expected, as we found out, especially when compared to dedicated GPUs like the GTX 1650. While it often outperforms the GTX 1650 in certain games and scenarios, other benchmarks show it falling behind or requiring lower settings for playable frame rates. No GPU options. Talking of the 890M, there's no dedicated GPU option available for the G1AM. Shame as some users would need the extra graphical processing power. HP wants you to look at the ZBook Ultra G1A with the AMD Radeon 8060S integrated graphics as an alternative. See my full review on this model. Questionable QA. Our test loan model had very low benchmark results, both with the CPU and the integrated GPU. Even after Windows rebuild and the latest driver installs, plus changing the GPU memory allocation in the BIOS, benchmarks were much lower than expected from the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX Pro 375. On the Love Alone model, the left integrated mouse button didn't work when pressing the bottom left hand corner. There's healthy competition in the 14 inch entry level mobile workstation category. What are the alternatives to the HP ZBook? G1AS. In no particular order, here are some to consider. Lenovo ThinkPad P14S Gen 6 14-inch AMD. Dell Position 3490-2025. Lenovo ThinkPad X9 14 Gen 1 Intel. Gigabyte Aero 14 OLED 2023. HP EliteBook 8 G1A. Zeus ExpertBook B9 OLED B9403. So who is the HP ZBook 8 G1 AS for? It's an entry-level mobile workstation designed for any professional who needs a reliable, powerful and secure laptop for 2D and simple 3D workflows, working on graphics design, photography and multiple office files. While it might not turn heads with flashy aesthetics, it's the kind of machine that gets the job done, day in and day out, and that's what truly matters in the professional world. The Dream Color display panel is excellent, the keyboard and click pad that you can use all day, plenty of ports, and the AMD 375 processor has explosive processing power. The weakness is the 890M iGPU, only good enough for light video editing, AI or CAD tasks. You need to look at the ZBook X G1i with a dedicated GPU, or the hugely expensive ZBook Ultra G1a for more graphical grunt. If you don't need this, the ZBook 8 G1as is fast enough for all your other workflow tasks. What do you think of the HP ZBook 8 G1as mobile workstation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tech content, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.